John's gospel sometimes can be a real tongue twister, <laughs> especially on half a cup of coffee. Okay, this first reading we have from the Acts of the Apostles today, we hear this from the, uh, the Sanhedrin. We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name. Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. You got Peter and the apostles standing before them. You want to bring this man's blood upon us. And if we could hear what Peter and the other apostles were thinking, they were probably thinking, yes. Yes, we do. It's exactly what we want. We want to bring this man's blood upon you, not to blame you, not to condemn you, not to shame you, but that you also might be bathed, that you might be bathed in the precious blood that won the world's salvation, the world's redemption. Luke, like I said, Luke gives us like a little snapshot of this conversation between the apostles and the Sanhedrin. It's only a snapshot. But as I was sitting with this, as I was praying with it, I can hear them expanding on what was said. Like I hear, I hear them saying, I hear Peter saying, listen, like, we abandoned him also. Like, I denied him also. We ran away from him. We failed him. Not only that, like, it was, it was not just your sins he bore. It was our sins he bore. It was our sufferings he bore. It was our failings that he took upon himself. Like, like don't you see? He's the lamb that we've all been waiting for. And I see them pointing back to the Old Testament. Like, don't you see that the sprinkled blood that was smeared upon the the doors of our forefathers in Egypt, it was a sign of his blood that protects us from destruction and death. Can't you see that the blood of the covenant that, that Moses splashed upon the altar and then splashed upon the people, it was a sign of the blood that was going to come gushing out of his side as he hung upon the cross? Like, can't you see that the blood of the untold thousands of animals of the lambs that were sacrificed in the Passover sacrifice, that they were just a placeholder for the precious blood of the Lamb of God who came to take away the sins of the world. Like, I see the apostles begging with and pleading with the Sanhedrin, like, yes, we do want his blood to come upon you, but it's also what you want, you just don't know it. He didn't come to condemn you, he came to save you. For your own sake, let his blood come upon you. But as we saw yesterday, and as we see today, it's really, really difficult to welcome the light. It's difficult to repent. I just pray that we would all never just rest in where we are in terms of our own repentance and conversion, but that we would all daily be asking and praying that his blood would come upon us, that we would repent again and again and again, that we would turn our hearts and our minds and our lives over to his sovereignty. Amen.